Hey, hello guys, how are you doing? I hope great. I'm DBGGS91 here and be welcome to my 100% walkthrough of Doom 2 Heaven Earth for the PC. Play you through the Doomsday Engine source board on the Ultra Violence difficulty. These videos are going to play off map 26, that is Khaled, the Abandoned Mines. Let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to look in this window on here on the right, because we have some enemies to kill here, including your barrel to explode, two imps, chain gunners, and lost souls to take care of. I suggest you do it right now. Okay, I think a few more will come later. So let's grab those things. The health bonuses, the super shotgun. And yeah, we have some enemies down below. And to go down below, we must flip the switch. And plus, we have a chain gunner down there. And sometimes a few cacodemons can come through. Oh, hello, chain gunner. You're dead. But we'll take care of those cacodemons later. They will come. So the first thing you want to do is to tag a secret right off the bat, just turn around and see this wall here with some kind of pipes, actually you can open it for a secret, kill the specter, those two dudes, and this chain gunner, and this run I like to take it by parts, first I like to take care of the chain gunners, the second one is there, and the third one is here. And then kill the, those annoying last souls. They are so pesky, so annoying. They deserve to die really quickly and with a super shotgun blast right on the face. That's how I hate them. I think most of, most of the Doom players also hate lost souls. They are no fun at all. Okay, any more lost souls around? I think not. Okay. Let's go over here and then, yeah, I will destroy this barrel just for safety reasons. And now, what I want to do is just to unleash a nasty trap here, but don't jump down because there's poison down there. So, what I want to do is to go the, to the very edge of this platform. Like that. Get this trap here with the cacodemon and the mancabiz inside. But we have another one to take care of on the other side with three cacodemons. It's kind of overwhelming. I like to take my position. And take one by one. You can use rockets, you can use the plasma gun, you can use the BFG, whatever that fits your needs. Or you feel com com comfortable with. And my English sucks. It's so long that I don't record any video. Because I took some vacation, you know? And also was sick on the last week. So that sucks. Anyway, let's move on. There's a teleporter down below, I can see it because of my source board. So let's jump to it. So we teleport it over here. There's a teleporter here on the left, but where I want to go is to the right. <sighs> to take this red suit, grab some rockets, and then take this teleporter here on the other side. If you're good enough, you can just run to that plasma gun. It's kind of tricky, but you can do it. If not, you can just jump to the other side to be out of this uh, pillar that we were. That one. Alright, so our business here is done, so let's go back and let's take care of the cacodemons that are down here. Yes, like I thought. Two cacos. One more. I'm almost out of bullets. Let's use some some shells instead. So let's use the chain gun for now. All right. So what I want to do now is to flip the switch, turn right, and open this wall. Yes, it's a secret wall. Let's blow up this barrel just for safety reasons. Jump over here. Get this chain gunner and this imp. Now we must tag another secret, and to do that. You, you, you must flip the switch and open the electrical panel right here like a door. Let's kill this imp and kill those lost souls. Remember this place? Yeah, that's the place that we snapped at those guys and blew the barrel that was, I think, here. Alright, so let's go inside this room and 
be ready when you cross this little ledge here because a chain gunner will open so kill him right away Let's get the goodies the rockets if you want to go back to the start that is your chance but where you want to go is go through this teleporter and for this part I like to have the to have the BFD ready because this part has a lot of enemies so just fire a BFD shot to kill all of these guys if you're lucky enough down below we have a Manka Bus. If you're using the Z Dune Swords board or GZ Dune, whatever, you can use the splash damage here to blow up the rockets, but here you can't for some unknown reason. So, yes, you must take that Manka Bus manually, use the barrels to injure him, and he's dead. Okay. So let's grab the chain gun because, because we have some gunners to take care of. That invisibility will help. Take care of these guys. With the shotgunner now. Okay, he's dead. As you can see, we have a lot of poison here. So where we want to go is to the right here, to this little alcove, and flip is the switch that will open the door. Right here, just run across. We have a cacodemon here on the right. So let's take care of him. The super shotgun, and also we have some imps to take care of. So let's do so. Are coming from that room. Okay. Here's the red door, but we'll come back here shortly because we need the red key first. For this part, I like to use the rocket launcher to kill those imps. I think it's easier. Okay, that was pretty smooth. Let's go over here. And that's the exit, by the way, but the way is blocked by this yellow bar. So we must find the yellow key first. Flipping the switch will open the area where the imps were. Like that. There's the red key. Some health. Some armor. So let's flip the switch that... I don't know what it does exactly, but anyway, I always flip it. Let's go through this teleporter and we are back here. Now this part. There's an exit here. Through these little openings. Let's do so. And for this room, what I like to do is to go inside and just back off. Why? Well, you see why. So let's kill that lost soul. And yes, we are alerted a plenty of caca demon. Whoops. Wrong gun. So use whatever you wish here. The plasma gun. The BFG. I like to use rockets since this map has plenty of rockets to use. Not so hard at all. Of course, Doomsday likes to blind me with the rocket trail. Whoa, hello, Lost Soul. Really want to get me. I think that's the last Kaka Demon. Let's kill those Lost Souls, they are so annoying. Okay, so let's use the rocket launcher now to deal with those imps. Just one more. Okay, he's dead. There's a blue door, so we'll come back here shortly. Let's get the blue key first, that is inside the red room. And it's right across, over here. Be careful because this wooden platform will collapse. So just be quick to go to the other side. And yes, we have this barrel of hell, so be quick as well. With the BFG hands, I recommend. Let's take the blue key, but we can open the wall behind it for a secret. But we have to deal with a trap back here with Cacodemus on both sides. I like to use the BFG for this trap. I think it's easier. Just like that. Alright. Let's go back here and flip the switch that will lower both the elevators here on both sides. So I want to take the lift that is on the right. Or right. Right here. Flipping the switch will raise again that wooden platform, so now we can get the items and the ammo. Okay, so now let's go to the other side this time and repeat the process. Because here we have this mega armor and also a secret right here on this wall with different texture. Leading us to this very needed soul sphere. Good. 
So we are back to 200% armor and health. Alright, since we have the blue key, so let's open the blue door. It is across this pathway. Over here. And for this room, I like to use rockets. I think it will fit pretty well to kill the Mancubus. It is over here. And then I wait until all the enemies come to the door. Because I like to fire a single BFD shot on them. Like that. It's, it's much more... Uh, how did it come to here, freaking lost soul? Because I find that much more effective. And then we have this barrel of hell to take care of. I like to use rockets for this part. Just a few rockets and this guy will be dead. Like that. Alright, you see that is, a that is a teleporter down below. Remember where the teleporter is because we want to use it to avoid a nasty trap. Let's grab the ammo around. I think there's some plasma around here. I hope. No, I think not. Anyway, let's grab the rockets, the yellow key, and jump on that teleporter. To jump right in on those cacodemons that were released. Oh, pretty smooth. Good. Yeah, you have to use the teleporter if you want to avoid a nasty trap. And be quick to kill those cacodemons. Uh, there's more rockets around here, I think not. Okay. So that's it, I think that's the whole map. I hope. So let's go here to open the yellow bar. Straight to the exit. But before, let's grab those armor bonuses if you're going for 100% items. And I think that's it. Yep, we killed everything, we collected everything, and we tagged all the secrets. So, we are done with this map, so let's get out. Alright folks, so that was the Abandoned Mines. Well, what can I say about this map? Actually, I think this map is pretty dangerous because it's pretty tight and compact, but it's not so hard if you know what to do in certain situations, like that big room with the cacodemons, and all of some of the lost souls, and that room with the uh, lost souls, cacodemons, the mancubus, that secret area. <clears throat> That area can be pretty tough, but I like this map, it's a pretty enjoyable map to play. Of course, it's not at the best Doom maps here on Doom 2, but it's an enjoyable map, I like to play it. It's a little bit fun to play, and it, ha it has cool design. Though, this map doesn't remind me of some kind of mine at all, I, I don't see that on this map, but oh well. So that's it, that's that. I'll have to say about the abandoned mines. So now, let's move on to map 27. That is called Monster Condo. Oh, this map is pretty, pretty ruthless. But it's one of my favorite maps of Doom 2, actually, because this map is awesome. Very long and very dark, but very fun to play and very tough, as you will see. So, into map 27, Monster Condo. I'm Jimmy DGS91, and bye bye to everyone. Take care, my friends.